So I'm from I'm from Westchester, New York, which is like 30 minutes away. So I mean, I grew up playing here in high school. I know Coach Layton. He grew up like he's lived in the town over from me. Um, so yeah, I grew up in Fordham. Was always a place I really wanted to go and end up at. Talk about your freshman year up until this point in time right now. How have you evolved as a baseball player and what has made you so successful here at the university? Yeah, so freshman year, you're just the young guy. You, you look up to the other guys. Your confidence isn't really there. Um, yeah, I mean, you grow up, you mature, and you realize that college baseball isn't all that it's meant to be, and you just you gain confidence, and that's huge. What was the biggest difference from freshman year to this point in time right now? Was there like a, a culture shock or was there something that was a huge adjustment for you when they were coming up through the ranks of uh, college baseball? Yeah, well, my freshman year was COVID, so that year got cut short. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, cra it's crazy going from, like, the youngest guy to, like, being the oldest guy that, like, younger guys can look to. But, um, yeah, I would say just, just getting older and gaining confidence is the biggest thing. Was there anybody teammate-wise that you were able to talk to that you picked their brains and they helped you to gain that confidence? And yeah. actually got you to feel at home here? At yeah, my, my freshman year, the two guys were, um, shout out uh, Jake McKenzie and Nick Labella, who are, Jake actually went on to play uh, professional baseball and Nick's working in uh, Arizona, but definitely those two guys really helped me along, along the way, so. Cool, cool. So when I understand you're the first Ram to hit a home run in three straight games since 2007. Did you hear about that stat from the staff here, and what was your reaction when you heard about that? Uh, yeah, they told me, which, I, I mean, obviously at the time I had no idea. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool to think about. It hasn't been done in 15, 16 years. So, yeah, I mean, I'll remember those, that, those three games forever. So. Do you even remember those at-bats at all, and were you looking for a specific pitch during those at-bats, or did you just see one <laughs> honestly, that you really liked? And yeah, I mean, honestly, in those moments, like after you hit the ball, you kind of like I know for myself, I just around the bases, like I don't, you kind of black out, like I just forget what happens until you touch home plate. So, um, yeah. Cool, cool. And then what I also understand is you hit two grand slams and totaling thirteen RBIs. Was there also in, in those moments as well anything in particular that you were looking for? Was it just like you just found something that you liked? And can you also walk me through those as well? Or? Yeah. Well, so the second one was I like the inning before we, we was a tie game and I was playing second base and. I let a ground ball go through my legs, which gave the other team a lead, which, I mean, basically I thought I lost us the game. So going to that at bat in the, in the ninth inning, kind of, I had a lot of juice and I was, I was really excited, so. Excellent, excellent. From what I understand, in high school, you went to Cortland Manor? Yeah, I went, I'm from Cortland Manor. I went to a Kennedy Catholic. Kennedy Catholic? Yeah. Okay, my apologies for yeah. that. Uh, when you were there, you were uh, set the career hits with 111. Yes. Was that something that was special for you when you reached that milestone? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't know at the time that that was <laughs> that was the record, but but looking back on it, it's it's. I mean, I'll remember that forever. So it's cool. It's a cool accomplishment to have. So. And you were also a football star. Yeah. So <laughs> I wouldn't say a star, but my uh, my senior year, I, I played quarterback for our team. Which was which was a lot of fun because I didn't play my freshman, sophomore, junior year, and then senior year I just decided to play and it was a lot of fun. Was it sort of kind of when you got accepted here to Fordham? Was it a decision that you had to make to choose baseball? No, football football, football, football was more of like a, just for fun. I wasn't I wasn't I mean I wasn't very good. I only played for like a couple months, so I no it definitely wasn't um, definitely wasn't a hard decision to make. Cool, cool, and then you also led the team to the end. NYCHSFL championship. Talk about that experience. Was that your first ever championship that you ever won, or? Um, well, for football, we actually lost in the championship, but um, <laughs> yeah, I mean that was a long time ago. But I mean football. I mean those days playing high school football, like those are some of the best days of my life. Like you remember those, just being with the team for forever. But I mean, like I said, I wasn't I wasn't the best football player, but um, we definitely had some other guys who led the team, but. Yeah, I mean, that was that was a lot of fun. I'll remember that forever. Now, here are some silly questions just so the people at home can get to know you better. Is there any sort of a secret hidden, hidden talent or is there anything that maybe the teammates may not know about you? That yeah, like like Scotty said, I'm, I'm really good with Legos, like really good. So that's, uh, that's probably my, hidden, th <laughs> my there, hidden thing. Is there a particular kit that you like the best or? <sighs> probably Star Wars. Definitely Star Wars. But. <laughs> 
How about in terms of things that you like to do outside of baseball? Or is there like anything uh, like movies or I'm a to big, see the museums and stuff? Is there things yeah, that you love to do outside? I'm not a big of museum baseball? guy, but but definitely I'm a, I'm very into movies. I'm kind of a kind of a big movie buff, but uh, yeah, I mean I like tennis, I like golf, um, yeah. What is your all-time favorite movie? Oof, that's a tough one. Um, probably, probably The Godfather, but I mean, there's so many I could choose from. I mean, if I had to choose one, though, it would be The Godfather. Awesome, awesome. I'm sure that's a classic for everybody, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. Of all the things in New York City that you hadn't had a chance to experience yet, is there one that you hope to experience before you graduate from college? Um. Or? I've lived here like my entire life. I lived in Westchester, which is like right outside of New York City. So, um, I mean, I've pretty much, I, in terms of like touristy things, I've done pretty much everything. But um, I don't know. Maybe I mean, I've never been to Statue of Liberty. That's something I think I definitely want to check out. So, yeah, yeah. That would be a great place to visit. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah. If you had a superpower, what would it be? <laughs> um, I don't know. Probably, probably I'd like to teleport because like you. You could say fly, but like, I don't know. Teleport, you get places wherever you want really quickly, so I feel like that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure a lot of people would like to fly, because could you imagine having the fly? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel that'd be pretty fun. But. Of all the visiting schools that you've had a chance to visit, was there anyone in particular that you were standing there and you were pinching yourself and you're like, holy cow, I can't believe yeah, that definitely. I made it to... Um, so last year, my junior year, we played at Texas A&M, which was like the craziest by far craziest experience of my life. There was probably 12,000 people there just screaming at us. You couldn't even, you couldn't hear anything. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, fans screaming at you. It's crazy, crazy environment. So definitely that, I'll, that's my favorite place I've ever been at. Is there a baseball field either as a player or as a fan that you're hoping to visit or? Um, I don't know. Um, I've always wanted to visit, um, Oracle Park in uh, San Francisco. I've never been. Um, Pittsburgh. I heard Pittsburgh Stadium is really cool. But, yeah, definitely those two are on the top of my list. PNC is definitely a beautiful park. And yeah. if you like the Baltimore Orioles, aside from the heat ones here in New York. I've heard Camden Yards is really nice. It's like yeah. amazing to be yeah. able to see. I've heard that place is really nice. So Now, if we could just talk real quick about the game today. You guys were sort of kind of trailing for a little bit. And then it was a grand slam home run to help you guys win it. Just talk about, like, do were you guys talking just to help lift each other up and get to that moment? Yeah, I mean, we, we just talked about it with the coach. I think, you know, we kind of came in and we took this team kind of lightly um midweek game we just come off a really big weekend so you come in and you don't have as much juice um thankfully mexico picked us up at a huge huge grand slam i mean without that we don't win that game so um i mean a win's a win but we definitely could have played better going into conference play so do you think that this will be something that will sort of kind of get you and the team hungry as the conference play is approaching yeah yeah i mean you, you can never take a game lightly which i feel like we kind of did today so I mean, maybe that's a good just, you know, just get us going a little bit for uh, for Saturday. So. For those that aren't familiar with the Atlantic Ten, is it as tough of a conference as from what I hear that it is? Yeah, I mean, outside of the Power Five, I think it's I think it's definitely right there. So, I mean, every week, like this weekend, we're going to Davidson, who's the projected number one team. So, I mean, it's going to be a good challenge. I think top to bottom, the teams in the A Ten are really good. So. Great, great. And then the last question, and I thank you so much again for this. Yeah, no I really problem. appreciate it. Is there is there any message for the fans that are watching this, those Fordham University fans, just to get them to come on out here to the Bronx and to support you and your teammates? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's going to be beautiful weather coming up. Uh, I mean, we're starting to get really hot. I think we have a really, really good team this year. We got a really good group of guys. Um, I would say just get it now before uh, before all the hype starts. So, yeah. Cool. Thank you so much for yeah. your time. Thank you. Thank you.